everybody and welcome back to the pre-production meeting. I'm your co-host, I am your co-host, Josh Urquhart. And I'm your second co-host, Daniel Cagola. And welcome back. This is episode 50... Nine. 59 of the pre-production meeting. This is a podcast where we talk everything, film news, film stuff, our film progress. And today is a special episode. Um, we have a guest. We do indeed. Dan. So... Let's get straight into it. Today's mm. guest is an Australian actor and stunt woman who has kicked, dodged, and weaved her way <laughs> through the film and television wow. industry. She has worked on productions such as Home and Away, Last King of the Cross, The, the Artful Dodger, and recently, mm. Four Guy. Wow. She's also an avid animal lover and a horse rider, <laughs> and she has an adorable dog named Chanel. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give a warm welcome to Tabitha Law. Oh. Oh, I <laughs> keep getting these wrong. I am sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna bother. <laughs> <laughs> Tabby, welcome to the podcast. Thanks how are for you? Having me, I'm so good. How are you going? I'm fantastic. Good. How are you, Dan? <laughs> yeah, good, good, good. Yeah? Congrats mm. on the new movie, by the way. Thank you very much. How Thank are you, you feeling about it? Have you had a warm reception? It's been really well um, received by everyone that's gone to see it. Yeah. It's really cool to see the stunt community finally um, celebrated. Uh, it is quite a great experience to be part of. I yeah. feel very fortunate. I almost want to pinch myself every day. I'm like, oh my gosh. That's fantastic. <laughs> I was a small slither of that. <laughs> 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 and it was my first <coughs> film too. So that was super, super special. First, first film. First feature film, sorry. And but it's the fall guy. And it was the fall guy. That's yeah. incredible. And I'm guessing you've seen it four times or yeah, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Far yeah. out. So who have you seen it with the four times that you've gone uh, I was it? invited. <coughs> I was very fortunate invited to the premiere mm. uh, at the State Theatre. Mm -hmm. And then I went and saw it with my mom nice. and my friend Xanthia, who's also another stunt woman. Yep. I saw it at the IMAX with my friend Anthony George, mm -hmm. who's a composer, budding composer. Who um, is also doing the music for my short film, Baron. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah. Well. Fantastic. <laughs> cool. And then I just saw it again with my mum because she wanted to see it again. And, oh, that's um, nice. Family Beautiful. Friends. Did your mum enjoy the movie? She did, yeah. It was oh, so lovely. my God. It was nice to see her. Um, she was so nervous. She was like, um, when you come up, can you just point out when you might be? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, nah, mum, if you, if you know me, you'll see me. Yeah. Oh. Not to be cocky or anything. I was like, you'll see, mum. And then she almost like turned herself inside out with excitement when she saw me on the screen. Just like, ah! It's <laughs> funny because Leo, it's sort of the Leo gif when he's pointing at the screen. <laughs> yeah. It's sort of at a point in the film when you start to forget, <laughs> like you just start to get absorbed in the movie and you mm. forget, oh, I know all these people working on it. Because <laughs> yeah. I was watching it and I was just like enjoying it. And then I'm like, oh, that's Tabby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the same with me. I knew a couple people, one who was actually on my film not too long ago, just yeah. chilling in the back. And I'm like, oh, I know that man. And then another guy that I know <laughs> through social media with a big Mustache, you can't miss him. <laughs> He's just there, one of the featured extras, just popping up all over the place. Yeah. Um, fantastic. Um, I got a question though. Okay. So I was, I don't, can't remember who I was talking to this about, but so you got invited to the the Four Guy premiere, right? Mm -hmm. And how was it? That was at the State Theatre. Mm -hmm. It was very fun. Yeah, we went to the State Theatre for the Babylon premiere. Yes, <gasps> yes. <coughs> Back in the day, but here's the thing, right? I I understand how um you got invited because you worked on the film. How do people get invited to these things? Is it you have to work on the film or be a TikTok influencer? Like, what are the <laughs> credentials? <laughs> I think working on it is yeah, really yeah, yeah. Good. And then you know the social media yes. um, elite are definitely Ooh, elite. Um, okay, fair. invited along because they're yep. working very hard at creating content, and it's a great advertising platform. Yes, I guess. for sure, hundred um, percent. I know yeah. a couple content <coughs> creators, and I've seen their faces, and it's just so nice to see them along um, to bring more awareness. Um, That's fantastic. To films and events. If we wanted to get an invite to any of these, because they had the Furiosa premiere at the State Theatre as well, like this week. They had the Challengers premiere not too long ago as mm. well. And they had the Forgo premiere. Mm -hmm. And luckily when we went, they actually released tickets available to the public for the Babylon premiere. Oh, my. So that's yeah. how we got to go. Can I sidebar and ask what you guys thought of Babylon? Oh, Did you we love sure it? can. Yeah, um, <coughs> it, it's a lot, but it's <laughs> yes. probably, it w uh, it's my least favourite Damien Chazelle movie, I think. Mm. Okay. But cool. it's still like good. It's just very chaotic, but there's some great scenes mm. in there. Did you like it? Um, yeah, I was sitting on the fence about that one. Yeah, mm. that's um, fair. I definitely appreciated it. Mm. It was very long. Um, yeah, it is long. Some really intriguing scenes that, <laughs> I was not so anticipating, nice. especially right, <laughs> yeah. right from the beginning. I was like, <gasps> yeah. oh my gosh. <laughs> Actually, the other thing is that the sound was so loud. <coughs> Dude. We watched it and like deafening yeah. at points. Oh. Was it really loud when you watched Orgo there? No, no. I feel like it was a good, it was a good, um, 
Good sound. balance. <laughs> Good sound. <laughs> Good sound. Okay, they, yeah, did, they your, must have fixed it. did your cinema stuff up at the premiere? No. Because when we oh. went to the State Theatre, about three quarters into the movie, um, it Was started... the colouring? Yeah, we've yeah. told this story a couple of times, but it started to look like, you know, those olden day 3D glasses, the red and the blue, and you put oh, it on? Yeah. It started to look like... That was happening yeah. to the whole screen. And I'm like, okay, oh. cool, artistic direction, right? <laughs> um, and then, you know, Toby Maguire comes on screen and it's the whole drug-induced kind of scene. It and kind we're of like, fitted. It yeah. fits, right? <laughs> yeah. and, then, and then you start seeing like the the whole screen goes red <gasps> and then it goes green and then it goes blue and then the movie shuts off. Oh, no. Yeah. <clears throat> and apparently- Wait, Did the curtains start closing as well, like prematurely? Or was that a different- No, I, I, I don't think that was. But do you know why? why? I got told is because it was being shown on film and the projector overheated. Oh. So that's why it went completely off. And then we waited like five minutes. They had to rewind the film and then, um, yeah, and then we kind of played it all over again. Um, but at the premiere, everybody is just, uh, it was a bit- it kind of shit, yeah. but, uh, <laughs> but hey, that's what you get for yeah, public exactly. invitation. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's so expected. true. Anyways, so, yeah, let's get straight into it. Yeah, so Tabby, <coughs> let's go uh, back in time a little bit. Why don't mm -hmm. you tell us how you initially got into the industry? Because I know you started off as an actor before you got into yeah. being a stunt woman. Well, actually, prior to being an actor, I was a nanny mm. for um, some family friends. Mm -hmm. And I really loved looking after their kids. And I loved doing the mom. The, like, it was just like good mom training, I guess. But I also really loved the kids and they were a lot of fun. And one of my favorite times uh, kind of <coughs> at nannying mm -hmm. was the bedtime stories and being able to tell stories. And I didn't quite know that I wanted to do the acting thing just yet. And I was, you know, reading the books to the kids and they were so excited about the books that I'd be like, oh, they're so excited for needing to go to bed now. But I had so much fun, you know, telling the story with the voices mm. and the sound effects and just being so silly because there was no judgment. The kids <laughs> were just laughing it up. It was so cute. And then I was like, gosh, it'd be so cool to tell a story for a living. Mm, and yes. then I was like, oh, it'd be kind of cool to like get into acting. And so I started going to acting classes <coughs> and I was looking around and everyone is super talented. And I was like, uh oh. <laughs> was that intimidating seeing all the other people? It was very intimidating. Yeah. But then, you know, you get um, hooked because you start getting to use moments of your life that you haven't been able to really talk about. And you get to tell them through the words on the script that you're given mm. and you're able to kind of process and like it's kind of therapy in a way yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. i don't know that's how i was finding it at the time i was going through a bit of a rough time and um so like the teachers were really good that i was coming across um luke ford who's an incredible um actor he was in like uh, Black Balloon with Tony Collette and mm -hmm. The Mummy and mm. he's just in a feature film that I um, got to hear a bit about and stuff like that. Cool. Um, <laughs> but he was great and I really quite admired him and, um, and when I was kind of amongst the acting, I didn't know how I was going to get into the industry. I was like, I'm not that talented and I really need to do something that's going to not stand out, like not in like that kind of way, but I just need to have a better... Um, portfolio, I guess, that's going to make me able to get into different sides of of the industry. Mm -hmm. And so then I jokingly thought to myself, I should do my own stunts. And I went, <laughs> 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 as if. <laughs> and, then, um, and then I really seriously thought about it and I emailed the, the, tr uh, the stunt <coughs> training facility that I go to mm -hmm. and I I haven't looked back and um, it's been, and I must admit, I got my grading and I really didn't think I was going to get hired. I didn't think I was going to get any so work. So grade you? Yeah. So you have to be a graded stunt performer to be able to work and do stunts. Um, right. Is there a certain mindset. level of fitness that you have to have? I would say there is, you know, our stunt coordinators ask us to, you know, be able to do certain things and have the ability to, you know, do a couple pull-ups and have a really good, um, just cardio endurance strength mm. balance. Did you have much of like a sporting background growing up? Not really. I was a dancer, <coughs> more okay. so a ballerina um, type vibe. And mm. I really loved um, like horse riding growing up. And I loved to do a little bit of boxing in my earlier 20s. Um, and like I really had no like athlete background at mm. all. Um, I'm so assuming the dancing would help though because it's all like routine and yeah choreography that, would and that was definitely helpful with the choreography um 
but uh yeah I, I i would say like the dancing the choreography helps mm. for sure um and like being aware of movement has been really helpful but a lot of what i am able to do now has just been because i've put in so many hours yeah. and a lot of effort uh, to try and become a bit more agile. Do you think cool. you've put in the, you know how they say it takes a thousand hours to master something? Yes. Have you, do you reckon you've put in your, th- oh, is it 10,000? Is it 1,000? I think yeah, it's 10,000. 10, 10,000. Have you put um, in your 10,000? I think I'm up there, but I haven't mastered anything. I still yeah, kind of suck. <laughs> do you have, is there like a particular stunt that you're good at? Um, or like series of stunts? Because I know different people specialize in different stunts, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, my trajectory is to be um, an action actress. Yep. So an actress that can do her own stunts. That's yes. awesome. Um, mm. But I really, because I'm kind of like here and there and everywhere kind of person, like I will do anything that is asked of me um, if I feel safe enough and mm. I will put mm. my foot down if it's... Um, I've never been in a situation though where I didn't feel safe on set, which is really fun and special. Um but I would say, like, I really like doing the movement stuff, like getting out of the way of the car. And um, I did get set on fire last year, and I loved that. Yeah. But that nice. was that was more training purposes. That wasn't for a job. But right. I did love that. Just did that for like, fun of it. Yeah. Yeah. it. That was in my backyard. It's your regular Tuesday, you know, get yeah. set on fire. Um, but, yeah, I would, I would say, like, I'm probably, I just have to be a bit more well-rounded. Like, I like doing a bit of the driving and the horses. Mm. And, mm-hmm. and um, one of my favourite... Um, kind of gigs was I got to jump into a makeshift grave um, at a cemetery down at Rookwood, um, which is pretty fun. Yeah, I was nice. like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> so they just dug like a big hole in the ground and you just had to hop in it? No, well, they had that there, um, but then they had to make one. Like they had scaffolding and then art department came in and like put some walls on this scaffolding that made it look like it was. And then I did the big jump and they did like a little this angle um low yeah. low, low shot low yeah, shot yeah, yeah, that yeah, was cool. kind of looking up <coughs> as you jumped in and so that was that was fun that's amazing yeah. awesome how many injuries do you currently have none wow yep and touch wood i swear if i get injured again i don't know if i handle so <laughs> how <laughs> how do you prioritize se- like self-care and recovery to ensure that you're in this industry for a long time um i think it's having an equal balance of you know common sense mm. and it other like the other part is being willing to really look after yourself Mm. um so i go to like an osteo um person every so often to just like get readjusted or if i feel like something's niggling he does like he's like a combination of um physio and chiro and um what is the difference between those two i still don't know um, Cairo is more like the bone cracking. Yeah. Right. I'm probably going to get so many people mad about this. <laughs> and then the physio is more of like the muscular oh, yeah, yeah, type yeah, yeah, yeah. aspect. Yeah. So the osteo is like a two in one. And nice. he, I went and saw him when I injured my back um, at the end of 2022. Yeah. And he was just an absolute godsend. Nice. And so I keep going back to him and, you know, try and play it really safe. Like if I'm not feeling, you know, super well, like I won't push myself too hard. And yeah. you just have to have a gauge and be like, all right, I can do this. I can't do that. I can work towards this. Like I watch, mm-hmm. you know, a lot of people <coughs> come through and they do incredible things and they just, they just send it. Mm. But because I am uh, kind of reliant on, you know, my body and I really build up to the confidence to be able yeah. to, to send it. I don't, necessarily mm-hmm. just go and That's i'm just gonna give this a big go and <laughs> and, and like i really break it down it, and, and i look yeah. silly sometimes but like i'd much rather be safer than sorry yeah no that's cool stuff so. responsible do you so have any particular like influences in the industry like tom cruise or anyone that you look up to who like actors that do their own stunts um well tom cruise is pretty cool mm. i really loved angelina jolie in lara croft mm. oh yeah um, i love that did she and do her own stunts in that i mean she does her own movements but more so like just that, I kind guess. Character. Um, I could see you playing like Lara Croft. Really fun. <laughs> you yeah. could, like, who was the latest Lara Croft? Alicia Vikander. You yeah. sort of have that yeah. look. I yeah. reckon you could do it. <laughs> For sure. Um, but then I also really love Sigourney Weaver. Yes. Um, so like, she's one of like. Oh, yeah. It'd be so <laughs> cool to like work with her. Yeah, that's um, amazing. And yeah, I would say like, and then Catherine Zeta Jones. She is like phenomenal, but she's more of like the actor that I like look up to. She's so yep. talented mm. and has such a, a range of vogue. Like she can sing, she can do accents, she can um, dance. Like yeah, so 
So you did mention your osteo, is that yeah. osteo? Yeah, osteotherapy. Um, is that part of your preparation when it comes to these kind of big uh, physical movies that you're doing? Is it part of your recovery? Um, and if not, what what, what is your what does your preparation kind of look like for these for these roles? Well, um, I would say that the preparation is just like eating really, really well, mm-hmm. training, um, and resting is important. Um, and then just like watching, like for example, like when I was on Fall Guy, I went and watched some of the Fall Guy series. TV series, yeah, and right. Because yeah. I hadn't quite heard of the Fall Guy series until I heard about the movie um, yep. coming out. So I went and uh, did some background research. And is the show good? Yeah, it is fun. Yeah. It's it's mm. definitely worth a watch. Mm. Um, so yeah, the preparation looks a little bit different, and I'm just very fortunate. You've Sometimes when you're doubling someone, you know, a lot of the actresses um, quite petite. So you've got to make sure that you're quite petite. And then the guys, you know, they get to bulk up sometimes. Girls get to bulk up too. And um, it's really cool. We're in a really great, um, I guess, stage of like life where so many different um, body shapes are yes. on, yep. on display. So like really you could look like anybody and be mm. a stunt performer if you put the effort into it and the, you try really hard and you get your grading and stuff. <laughs> Grading, that's fantastic. Is it like an A, B, C, D kind of grading? Um, or is it like a mark? Like out of there is like, like no, no, no. There's mm. no marks. It's more like you put forward your paperwork and your reel and your certificates. Okay. And um, you, you have like recommendations and, mm. and you get signed off on them. And then you put it forward to the committee and then they pretty much pass you. If they see something wrong, then they'll come and let you know that something's wrong. And right, right, be like, right. But yep. then you're not like not allowed to go for the next grading. Like there's, they're really quite um, supportive in trying to make sure that you've got the right um, credentials. Credentials for it, yeah. That's stuff. so interesting, hey? Yeah. Mm. So um, what you do is you kind of, you go for your first grading, which is SAP, which is Stunt Actor Provisional mm-hmm. or Stunt act- Action person yeah that sounds right yeah. <laughs> and then um you can go up to your stunt actor and that's when you can do more so the mainline stunts mm-hmm. and then from there you can go either like safety or assistant coordinator and then coordinator and mm. things like that so it's really cool grading system and mm. yeah you did mention the four guy yes. now um that it the, the the tv show i know has a cult following mm. how does it feel to be a part of that project now they're providing you know this uh media to a new kind of generation be a part of that impact how, how, how is that it's quite spectacular yeah. um i feel very fortunate to mm. be able to kind of have it feels like such a surreal experience like it almost feels too good to be true mm. um but it's it's special it's mm. a very special experience um i think you know it's so well received and some of my friends they've been really impressed with the film because it's you know action but it's not gory and it's mm. not got too much of anything like it's it's family friendly yeah um, it's fun it's, it's fun it's felt like a while since we've just had a big fun blockbuster like mm. this that sure. isn't like yeah. a superhero movie or something that's you know right I mean? that's mm. right and like it's really cool because they really <coughs> tried to like squeeze every single stunt that you could possibly think of they even got the horse in there i was like oh my yeah. gosh <laughs> <laughs> yeah so that was really special to see as do well. you want to speak more about your actual experience on the film mm. as much as you're comfortable with talking yes we can talk about did it. you have to sign an nda of any kind at the beginning at the beginning yeah. right yeah cool yeah. cool cool <laughs> all right um, yeah i'm keen to get into it yeah let's go so what do you want to know <gasps> Yeah. Um, well, do you want to tell us how how many days you actually spent on the yeah, set? And yeah. then okay, I spent um, on camera probably like three days. Nice. Mm-hmm. I was there for a couple of weeks. Because um, yeah. this is the reality of the situation, yeah. right? It's yeah. the fact that sometimes you think you're going to be there longer than you are. And yeah. then... You can't, there's so many factors that are out of your control, you know, they how are. the filming goes, how mm. they edit, what they decide. Because you said yeah. you saw the script initially and mm-hmm. it turned out very different. It was very mm. different. Right. And, um, I mean, it still turned out incredible, but the script, like the beginning scene was different. And You get um, the whole script. I got the awesome. whole, I was very fortunate. I was one of very few people that got the whole wow. script. Wow. Yeah. Because um, I was cast as cast. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, like, I got to be part of, like, some really cool um, sequences and see 
um, then break the record of the car roll. Yes. I heard about this. Which yeah. was oh, what they was ended it? up breaking a seven roll record to with nine? an eight point five. Oh, eight point five. Yeah, okay. Yeah yeah, yeah. 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 So that's pretty cool. And then I got to be a background driver on the Sydney Harbour Bridge. They closed that one day. Yes. Um, and our call time was like one forty five a.m. Like it was Ooh. really cool. Yeah. And um, so we just got to do the driving. Um, that's insane. I'll tell you what I found funny. Um, it's because we live around the area. How in the foreground. That that whole scene, it goes from the inner city across the Harbour Bridge yeah. into the M2, yeah. and then all of a sudden back <laughs> oh, in yeah, the city. Yeah. I, was, I was saying like, I, I, it'd be funny if there's like a ten minute sequence yeah. where he's stuck on like the West Connex. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. yeah. stuck. It's like oh, oh. The bumper to bumper. Train. Yeah, <laughs> I, mean, I remember that day because I work at Channel Ten, so I remember oh, it was cool. just all blasted over the news. Ryan Gosling yeah. on the Harbour yeah. Bridge. Yeah. Um, but speaking about it, what did you actually think of the Four Guy? Like the whole movie itself? I loved it. I thought yeah. it was really fun. Yeah. yeah. No, I really enjoyed it. Is that like, all you want to say? <laughs> um, you know, I thought like I loved the drawing attention to you know stunt performers and yeah. And I told my parents to watch it and they really liked it as well. Did yeah. they watch so, it? Yeah, yeah, oh, they loved cool. it. Did they yeah. come with you or did you? No, 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 they. I told them to see it after. Oh yeah. Mm. And like you know, sometimes my parents would be like, oh, I don't know about like my mom's very iffy yeah. on certain movies. And then she came back, she was like, oh, I really liked that. That was great. So, That's so great. Mm. Yeah, no, I think it's just a fun movie for it is fun for, for the family. And my girlfriend fun. loved it. Yeah, she, was, she was like five out of five. It was yeah. like the, some of the most fun she's had in a cinema Thanks, for girlfriend. ages. Yeah. I know, right? <laughs> and it was great seeing Sydney. Yes. Just like the Opera House and the yeah, Harbour Bridge. Yeah, yeah. And Wasn't it spectacular? The Club and Australia's yeah. been on Shine lately. Yes. Yeah, yeah with um, Anyone But You. Anyone But yeah. You. You got Furiosa coming up yes. as well. Yes. Yeah. It's good uh, to see. It's in oh, Apes. Kingdom of yeah, the Apes. Kingdom of Planet of the Apes, bro. Yeah. All these big blockbusters, all of a mm-hmm. sudden yeah. showing showing up, and yeah. Uh, yeah. it's good for us going into the you know the future. Yeah, you know, more sure. the more productions yeah. we get, the more opportunities for everybody. And yeah. um, Australia so. has so much to offer yeah. in international production. So yeah, it does guys for yeah. sure. Hundred <laughs> <100%. laughs> percent. I know another thing that was kind of shot in Australia was the Artful Dodger. Yeah. Um, and that kind of uh, it transport it transports people into a new era. How does um how do you research and prepare for stunts in like a historical like context? Um, do you have to make sure you're authentic in a way for you know yeah, stunts back in the day or I something? I guess so. In a way, I actually had one day on set. Yeah. And I was just like a passerby who had to get out of the way of a horse and carriage. Nice. Um, but Phil Partridge, who was the stunt coordinator, mm. he had a really great team that would go and do something called previs. Yes. So they'd go and like kind of pre-film mm-hmm. the ideas and concepts and they'd go and do a really great job. Did uh, you see any of that previs or you just hear about I saw it? a little bit of... Um, what is it? How previs. do they do it? Um, so sometimes they will go to like the location and if if it's close by and like not being used um, and they are able to go and um, just do the action and, and yeah. build on the action and sometimes they put mats down and sometimes, you know. I love stunt previs, like yeah. some of those videos you see on YouTube. Sometimes yeah. it ends up better than the final film. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so uh, I, I I was uh, researching like stuff that you've done as well. Mm-hmm. And you go from the fall guy, the artful dodger, to home and away. <laughs> well, it was yeah. the other way around. You started Oh, with yeah, that, yeah sorry. So I'm just <laughs> yeah, like the yeah. way that I was looking. I'm like, like, she's Whoa, progressed. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but how does, how does that kind of differ with like the whole stunt planning and execution of something like home and away to, you know, the fall yeah. guy, you know? Well, okay, so shout out to Home and Away yeah. Extras. You guys are the OGs because that's where I started. Mm. And um, I remember saying to someone like, oh, yeah, I've worked on set before. And they were like, oh, what did you do? And I said, I was an extra on Home and Away. I was so proud of it. And they were like, that's not acting. And I was like, mm. oh, I was like, cut, man. Like that mm, hurt. Yeah. Because I was like, well, I'm trying really hard to just like see what we can do. Mm, yeah. and, um, and so I started as an extra. And I think there's like a photo somewhere I have of me in the little lifeguard outfit. <laughs> I'm just like, yay. That's so cool. <laughs> but then um, it's so funny because it's then like become a full circle moment. Um, I've been able to do like a car um, sequence uh, for Ada Nicodemo. Um, <coughs> in a, like we went down to Blaney and, and did that. I didn't do the car roll, but um, the stunt guys did a really good job at piecing that together mm. um and so i double rose who's kirsty marilio yeah and she's an incredible actress and um i just recently did something for her in january again and 
um, that comes out in a couple of weeks in May. So. Fantastic. Oh, it's already May. But yeah, it'll come out apparently in May. So. Can you yeah. talk about that at all or not? Really? When does this get released? Next week. Next week. <laughs> okay, I probably can't just yet. <laughs> That's all right. But we can come back and we can break it down. Cool. <laughs> Fair enough. No worries at all. Love Not it. to invite myself back or anything. <laughs> <laughs> so you were just an extra on uh, Home and Away, right? When I was like years and years yeah, ago. Okay, but cool, now cool, I've cool. doubled a couple of the girls. Yeah, and, right. Um, what kind of stunts do they have on Home and Away? Yeah, that's what I'm They curious. have some really dramatic stuff. Like they have it's a like soap opera some, after all, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So they have like anything from, you know, jumping over a fence to nice. I had to crash tackle. This is something I could tell you about because it's Ed. Cool. I crash tackled a friend of mine who was <laughs> he was running out of this um this I think it was like a cracked in or something. Yeah. And then I was doubling Rose. So I'm up behind him running. He gets on the motorbike, goes to start it. And I <coughs> grab him and I throw him off the bike, throw him onto the ground and then arrest him. Amazing. And that's pretty fun. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then, yeah, they have like, yeah, little sc- scuffs. Is that the word? When sure. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rough ups and um, some car stuff. Yeah. 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 They, they try and get a lot in there. To yeah. tell and then I feel like once a year they have a really dramatic event that everyone yeah. cheers yeah. into. Yeah, like yeah. There's a tornado <laughs> or like there's a bomb in the building or something <laughs> Tornado? They in Australia? They always have one like catastrophic It's Yabby event. Creek. Anything can yeah, happen. Yeah, where, like, yeah. one, per- one side totally. character might die or something. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Oh, man. So how, how do does something like that, like the planning of those stunts, compare to something like the full guy? Um, well, I mean, I think budget comes into course, it. Yeah. Do you get less takes to get it right as well? Not necessarily. Okay. Um, I mean, I the job I just did, we did – three takes of something I thought could potentially only be like one or two takes. Um, But they were happy to keep going and I was like, oh, they've got time for this. Like, that's really cool. And and it's nice to kind of have that moment of breathing and getting to just get a little bit more of the coverage. Mm. Um, But, yeah, it just depends on different coordinators and the different actions. So, like, there's sometimes, you know, Home and Away might not have any action um, for a couple of weeks, so there's no work on Home and Away. Um, whereas like the four guys, a big month, like <coughs> months and months of preparation. Mm. Um, so yeah, it's, it's very, it's varies, it varies. Mm. Um, so did you have to rehearse for certain stunts that didn't end up going into the final film? I, well, NCIS. Sydney, um, Sydney, right? Sydney, yeah. yeah, yeah NCIS yeah. Sydney, they cropped me out. Um, uh-huh. no, I'm <laughs> they, they cropped the stunt I know out. somebody else that got cropped out but of it, NCIS. Oh, really? It happens, yeah. right? Yeah, like but it happens. This is, happens. This is the reality of, of the yeah, situation yeah, yeah, yeah. that sometimes yeah. you don't. Of course, totally. To. Yeah. Things, it's things unfortunate. Change. But it, yeah. it's, it's a reality. Exactly. Like, yeah. um, I, like, I guess with Fall Guy, it was kind of a really cool experience to, to learn that. Because, you know, you get cast as something and then it doesn't quite turn out that way. Um, but you still get to be a part of it, which is really yeah. the special thing. And you still yeah. get paid. And that's that's the important thing. Uh, yeah, yeah <laughs> totally. Not that I do it for money. I do it because I love yep. it. Um, yep. but, but at the end of the day, it's, you know, you need to pay the bills You as need well. to pay bills, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm. And you get met with a lot of, um, yeah, humble pie moments. Yeah, in the but industry. I think <laughs> that is in a way a good thing. It you is know, because it is. That's that's the industry. You've got mm-hmm. to, and I think you get stronger as you have more of these opportunities yeah. where you know you've got to push past it and you do just have keep to growing and getting it. better mm-hmm. at what you do. That's and exactly right. I think if you aim to get better and better at something, you'll you'll get your big break. Yeah, like, it'll come. Oh, absolutely. Um, one of my friends says, um, she says, if you don't quit, you'll win. Yeah, mm. exactly. and that's so true. Like you know, I would never have guessed. I would never, if I was to go back and tell my eighteen-year-old self, "You're going to be in like a movie. You're going to be a stunt performer." Yeah, and um, it's kind of cool. I would have laughed so hard in your face. Like I thought yeah. I'd be married with kids by now, settled down with a little <laughs> mortgage, and here I am, like loving that I'm like single yeah. and able to chase the dreams Amazing. and work yeah. really, really hard on that's the um, mm. career. What so. did you want to do when you were younger? Well, I either wanted to do like an architect type design. Um, mm. thing mm-hmm. or I just wanted to be a trophy wife really wow <laughs> fair enough man I mean I still kind of do but that's okay <laughs> 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 but I want to do my stunts so and now and look I at can. you yeah fantastic <laughs> amazing <laughs> do you um do you get scared sometimes yeah do you get you scared on like do you get <laughs> do you get scared when you're about to do a stunt like how do you like control your kind of like fear I guess because I'd be scared man if I was yeah. doing like eight and a half Ca- like car rolls like yeah, yeah. i mean logan That's holiday nuts, who did that was phenomenal yeah. and he did that twice because wow. they, they did two takes because um 
I didn't think they quite got the um, the shape of the role that they were hoping for. The shape, I think. Crazy, um, yeah. No. And then they were like, "We should try and go for one more." And then um, I think David <coughs> Lynch was a bit like, I, I saw a video that he mm. was like, "Oh, you know, I was happy with the first one," and then they went the second one. And the second one is what made it. Yeah. Um, but um, I would say that my pet, I I'd give myself a little bit of a pep talk. Yeah. Um, I also. <sighs> Have a little moment of prayer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Put yourself together. Um, but yeah, I would say like I have a little bit of moment of just like just find a peace and and also you have to kind of go. I'm hired for this for a reason. Yes. Like I've worked towards this because you can't just kind of go into it and be like um, free ball. You know, mm. like you've really got to be aware of what you're doing because when you do a take, you want to be aware of mm. what's going on and what 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 arm falls here and what what leg yeah. hits there for kind safety, of thing right. for safety but also because if the director liked the take and he wants you to do it again on a different angle you want to mm. have that continuity right so yeah. um i would say like yeah the prep of mental like just i have a good breakfast i'm not usually i'm very like funny about sometimes like what i eat during the day but like every time i work on set i always have breakfast like yeah. it's because yeah. i know that it's like i need to be so sharp i need to be so on it yeah. and if i'm not on it like it shows yeah and right. i don't want to be embarrassed because i am always embarrassed but like you know like i'm always trying really hard to be like just like like worthy of um, the blessing of being yeah. in in work. So of course, you care about Beautiful. what you do. You want it to look yeah. Cool. So and and I care about the coordinators too, and yeah. I want them to feel comfortable with with what we end up doing. So mm. what um what is a stunt woman's breakfast? Ooh. Well, <laughs> it depends. Yeah. If it's like winter, we probably do like a really nice homemade beans on toast. Okay, beans rye bread. Wow. Yeah, with a little bit of kale in there, which yep. sounds so boring. But yep. um, you love your. I know you love your spinach smoothies, don't yeah. you? Yeah. <laughs> well, yes, movies Spirit like, movies. but sometimes like, <laughs> but this Ooh. is the thing: if you put a tiny little bit of like spinach into like bu a peanut butter banana, um, either banana. Oh no! <laughs> oh, no. Banana oh, no. and spinach are my two. <laughs> but you but you of can't a, that's taste my it. fear. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's that's the that's the um like the peanut butter can overtake that, and, yes. and I am a peanut butter. Yeah, to fanatic. the core kind yeah, of house. Um, and so on a maybe a summer's day, probably either like Vegemite on toast oh, or... Um, yeah. Much better. Yeah, yeah. yeah, or like a nice Love berry that. smoothie. Um, yeah, nice. So. Mm, yes. Yeah. That. Fair enough. No, that's Very great. Good. You said that, you know, there's a lot of preparation and stuff, mm -hmm. but has there any, has there been any like instances where you've had to kind of improvise, like things didn't go the way that you wanted to? I mean, we've had to improvise with the lack of work we've got at the mm. moment. Like, it's very quiet. Okay. Um, so, like, this is something that, you know, we go weeks and weeks and weeks without getting a call. And then maybe we get a call or we get a, are you, in, are you able to come in um, this week or this day? Mm. And then you're like, yeah. And then you don't really hear anything. Yeah. You're like, oh, okay. Um, so, it's been very quiet. And that's something that I wasn't quite anticipating mm. because my first year of work, I was... I had quite a lot on. Um, yeah, I was very okay. fortunate. Um, so to have like big breaks in between productions at the moment. Scary. A little scary, mm. but I know that if you don't quit, you'll mm. win. Yeah. Um, and also like we make, we have to make the most of everything that we, mm. we have every day. Um, Cause you're not promised tomorrow. So it's, it's important to go out and use what you have and do what you can do with that. Mm. So like, you know, just networking and, and collaborating and, yeah. you know, just doing everything you possibly can to upskill. Mm. That's like one of my biggest things. And do you think, I mean, I know like a lot of crew that we work with go mm. ages without work. Do mm. you think that's a location, a location problem like that in Australia? Like, do you reckon if you moved to like LA or something, you'd be getting more or... No, not necessarily. I feel like if you were to go to LA, you'd have to be quite prominent in Australia yeah. to stand <coughs> out. Um, yeah. That's like some really sage advice that I was once given mm -hmm. was don't go somewhere else until you've built up something here I've at home. i got that exact same advice. But sometimes you hear opposite advice. People say, yeah. oh, you know, they yeah. make all the movies in LA. you got to be there to, yeah. to make oh, it. That's yeah. crazy. I've got that exact same but, advice. Yeah. But I couldn't go over to LA knowing because nah. I've, I've been over to LA and I know uh -huh. a few friends over there that have done some really cool things. Yeah. But like I couldn't go over there just off the bat. Mm. And also Why visas won't allow you. Like you have oh, to yeah. have a visa um, with substantial, I have made a prominent profile in yeah, Australia yeah, yeah. with my work and, and, and you go over. Mm. Um, but yeah. It's but like can't you get like a two year visa or something? 
I'm not sure. Well, you can't work on that. I don't think you can work on um, certain visas. Oh, right. But, mm. yeah, you have to be careful. You have to be so careful. And then you've got to hire lawyers. And yeah. Would you even want to go to LA anyway? <laughs> I would for Hollywood movie blockbusters. Yeah. Like, I think yeah. that would be really special. Mm-hmm. I'm, I really love Australia and I'm really so passionate about, like, yeah. Australian productions and pa- uh, mm. the people here. And I feel the same. Um, That's the thing. Like, we've, yeah. es- we've also established ourselves <coughs> here and we have our mm. network here. Community. So, it's like, if you were to move, you'd have to for start sure. again. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, like, I would travel for work for sure. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. To go and, yeah. like, start somewhere else, I'd give it a go if I had to. Yeah. But I'm very, like, quite quite grateful for what I've been able to do over here and the people I've been able to meet. Um, yeah. So. That's what we kind of – we talk about this a lot. We're, like, base in Australia, go travel for work. That's mm-hmm. a dream. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. a dream. I don't yeah, know. that's it. That's it. That would be so cool. Mm. Australia is so great. Um, 100%. Yeah, I'm, I'm a really proud Australian, actually. Yeah, there <laughs> you go. Right. Amazing. So yeah, I don't know about living in America. That's always, mm, a, yeah, no. it's always a tough <laughs> tough kind of question mm. when yeah. it comes to yeah, it. Yeah, that's a loaded question. <laughs> loaded answers it is. from everybody. Yeah. Everyone's I know. It's different for everyone. I would never. Yeah, I, I, yeah I, I really did like your advice that you said. I, I, I got the same advice and it was more so like it's a smaller pool over here. Yeah. In, in yeah. Australia and make your way to the very top and then if you want to go to America, go to America. But there's also less work and less funding here. That's, That's true. the catch. Mm. Mm. So. so what do you do, Dan? I don't know. I'm trying to figure that out. <laughs> 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 well, we just keep making Australia look super desirable exactly. in blockbusters. And yeah. yeah. Bring them here. Yeah. What, is, what does Scorsese yeah. say? Make your own Hollywood? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, that it. makes it makes total sense, man. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. So is that like all your stunt friends are kind of going through the same thing? At the moment. Yeah, some of them are on a production at the moment, which I'm really proud of them. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that's what fine. It is. But um, yeah, some of them are on a production at the mm. moment. Some of them are over in um, the Northern Territory at the moment. Mm. Um, but yeah, a, a lot of people are just kind of finding their bearings again. Mm-hmm. Um, so can I guess what production it is? <laughs> yes, I only know one that's happening. Is it the Mark Warburg one? <laughs> oh, you know who else is on that? I mean, can we say? Yeah, yeah. Emily. She yeah, said, yeah, yeah. didn't she? Yeah. Oh, Wait, did she, she said on the pod? Yeah, okay, yeah. she said on the Emily is in Emily. McKendry. The w- Do you know Mc- Emily McKendry? Yeah. She's in Barron? Yeah. 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 She's on that? Yeah, yeah, she got a Good girl. feature role, a speaking no, role. Oh, was I, th- I think it, it's I like a, a featured, like a featured her, extra, featured, featured extra, extra or something like that. Yeah. But um, no, it, look behind every kind of massive stunt, there's a massive stunt team mm. that comes along with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I want you to talk about kind of the importance of trust when it comes to you know trusting your fellow uh, colleagues and stuff to make sure you don't kind of get hurt and stuff. How important is trust? Oh, the it's stunt. crucial. Yeah. If you do not trust someone, you will not perform mm. to the ability that you can. Yeah. Um, if you do not trust someone, you don't really want to go to work. You don't really want to be there. Like, yeah. And I think that's just an overall in general like kind of thing um, just in any industry, in any dynamic. If, if you don't trust someone, you don't want to be there. Yeah. Um, I'm very fortunate and everybody, I've th- ev- ugh, everybody that I've worked with, yep. I've trusted. I also, you know, I'm a bit more conservative about like I watch and I listen and I I make sure that <coughs> I'm not going to be around people that might not be as respectful and trustworthy. Um, if that makes sense, no, not that does. there's anybody makes really like that, but I I do watch for attitudes and I just get mm. to know people and and I try and cultivate an a- atmosphere around myself and with people that I work with so that we all feel like we can trust each other. Mm. You know, a lot of people don't really take me very seriously sometimes, like not Aww. stunt-wise, but, you know, just... And so I always try and, and, you know, enable the atmosphere of, it's okay, like, we can have fun and still get things done. Totally. Um, so it's like my kind of... It's a fine line to ride though, isn't it? Like, mm. I always oh, find this man. when we make right, stuff with our to friends. Say, yeah. It's like, you want to enjoy what you're doing and have fun, but yeah. you yeah, you need to get stuff done. And sometimes it leans too much one way or the other. Yeah. You know, sometimes That's you lessons get, we've learned over the years. Yeah, mm. like sometimes you get these sets where everyone's joking around, but it's like, all right, guys, we need to make something. Like we've yeah. only done two mm. shots and it's been five hours. And then other times everyone's so serious that you're not even enjoying it. Yeah, it's like so ice cold. Yeah. Like, I don't know how to function right now. Yeah, exactly. like are we actually <laughs> making something we care about or are we yeah. just like, it yeah. feels like we're at a morgue yeah, or something. Yeah, there is that happy medium you've got to find. Yeah. We're lucky with the sets that we've kind of oh, been yeah. on, like to have... You've got it, that good balance. I think we've it. finally found a good balance. Yeah. You know, I think in the earlier days there were certain people that were just 
Adelaide jokes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just joke I said that we couldn't get anything done and stuff. Um, on the bigger sets, how is that? Is everybody close? Is there the segregated groups? Do you, are you able to still have that kind of fun that you are on those like kind of intimate indie sets? Yeah, I would say that like we had quite a lot of fun on Four Guy. That was probably the biggest production. Mm-hmm. That is the biggest production I've worked on. Yeah. And um, everyone was just so much fun. We, we all just had like a good laugh and we would just kind of ride the waves of if we needed to change something, we'd change. Yeah. And, um, was it intimidating yeah. being on a set that big? Because I've never been on yeah. something. Like yeah, it was. Especially like watching the cars that were for <coughs> Emily Blunt and Ryan Gosling and mm. Winston Duke, like driving around. You're like, don't make they a have their own cars. <laughs> yeah, they, well, wow. more so, maybe not cars, but they had like their vehicles that would get them to and from mm. the location. Of course, yeah, stuff, yeah, yeah. So. You made them? Yeah. No, I didn't meet them, but I worked, you know, alongside and watched them perform. So that was kind of cool. Inspiring. Yeah. Very inspiring, work. yeah. Especially like seeing, you know, Emily Blunt's, you know, career from her being in Devil Wears Prada type, you know, all those mm. years ago to where she's at now is so cool. Yeah, amazing. Like she's she's incredible, yeah. very very talented. She's an inspiration. I love Emily Blunt. She's she's been killing it, killing it lately. She as has. Well. She's been in everything. Yeah. Um, Ever since like yeah. Edge of Tomorrow, she's really yeah Oppenheimer man. Yeah. Incredible. I I have a I have a loaded question. Okay. And, um. Dan said that you would like this question as well. Okay. How do you navigate the portrayal of gender and break stereotypes within the predominantly male-dominated field of stunt work? Well, correct us if we're wrong. Yeah, like, correct us is, if we're wrong. But do you find that there's um, more male stunt stunt people versus women? Yeah, and there are. Mm. And so do you find that you get more work, less work, and how do you find that you kind of navigate um, it as such? Well, I really lean into my femininity. Yeah. And yep. I really lean into the fact like that it's an opportunity to show that I can be um, like just hopefully just as valuable as the guys. Yep. yep. Um, the guys have always been so good. I, you know, a lot of, I think there's a bit of a stigma where people are like, oh, stuntmen, no, no. but like the stuntmen I know, they're incredible, incredible. and they're mm. so inspiring. They get a lot of work because they put in the hours, they put in the effort. Yep. They um, do get probably more work because quite often it's more guys that yep. are stunt. Um, really needing stunt related roles um but then they also upskill and like do the rigging and you know they're really great stunt assistants on days that they're not um performing so like coordinators can get them on board and Mm -hmm. um yeah so but for me i would say um i feel really proud to be a stunt woman really like i feel really fortunate and and i don't let any (coughs) stigmas kind of dictate who or how i should be yep um i just roll with it a little bit but mm-hmm. also try and show up with the best attitude and um that you yeah just be a good person to hang out with and hopefully have people want to hire me <laughs> <laughs> yeah absolutely no, amazing that's, that's such a good but then answer. also like i do put yeah. in a lot you of can effort. tell 100 like, percent. yeah yeah, I, yeah totally I, that's something that's really um i try not to take for granted um i work like uh work out or do some sort of skill three times a day like Wow. Yeah, I'm always trying to just like sharpen. Three times a day. Yeah, trying so hard to just sharpen any, whether it's like something to do with acting or um, parkour, bouldering, like horse riding, yeah. like some f- driving, like something. Yeah, I'm trying yeah, to yeah. always just be sh- like sharpening that. So if I saw you in the street, would you be vaulting over things? And stuff? <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe. I don't know. I would. I, I get a little nervous taking it into public when I'm not okay. insured and like oh, I'm not yeah, being paid course. just yeah. yet. Yeah, you don't want to. Yeah, but, of course. Um, but yeah, no. I've definitely taken it out a couple times, um, and I have a bit of fun with it. Sometimes, like I'll walk along the street and I'll be like, "Mom, what's this? Watch this." <laughs> <That's> <laughs> she's awesome. like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> 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 no, Mum's so cute. She's like, "That's so cool," and That's I feel like great. a little kinder kid. I'm like, "Oh my gosh, Mum!" <laughs> yeah. So if you found that your mum is quite supportive of you being yes. a stunt woman. That's my awesome. mum is the most supportive person. It's so special. Um, I would say that, like, on the days where I'm struggling, she'll say something or you know be really proud and just encourage my heart and i'm like oh wow like i'm so fortunate to have a mum that's that's really cheering me on Mm, um you know we we have our moments i guess um with our different family dynamics but for the most like all in all like she's just so 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 strong at encouraging me to just keep going with it so 
That's yeah, awesome. great. To quote mum the other day, she's like, you're my favourite surprise. Oh, <laughs> that's adorable. I was, yeah. I was a surprise. So, um, yeah. That's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> how, how, how important is it to have that kind of support from family and friends? It is vital. Kind of, yeah. I don't imagine, like I could not imagine life where I'm trying to do something with so much ambition and a little bit of delusion. And I don't mind. I am a little bit delusional. Yeah. But I, I don't think we all have to be y- a little bit. You kind of have to be a little bit industry. delusional in this industry. Yeah. And, and I, I'm proud of it. Like, I don't so, mind yeah. it. Like, I'd rather be a little bit delusional than and, and chase the dream than, than miss out on of an opportunity like being a full guy and, and yeah. seeing what life can do. Mm, so, yeah. Um, yeah, I would say, like, <laughs> this support is so important. I, on the days where I'm discouraged, the people that I have around me are so supportive and yeah. they're like, remember this? Or I remember I had a really rough day a couple of weeks ago and AG was just like, think of how far you've come in yeah. four years. Just <coughs> four years of this. And I was That's like, so cool. yeah, yeah. Yeah. that's actually I, so true. <laughs> I was thinking the same about you know, my stuff as well, like mm. being a director and all that. And you gotta, you got to... Um, look at the fact that we've had a lot of setbacks, you know, like we had COVID, COVID we had yeah. the writer's strike, like yeah. all these different things we that are have really, that wave you know, st- yeah, stood yeah, in the way. The so you, yeah. Mm. So you've got to be kind to yourself and be like, Hey, yeah. despite everything, I'm still yeah. pushing onwards and doing yeah. better things. Mm. But I had a recent, a similar moment recently where I was like, you know, I'm finally getting paid to direct things. Yay. And it's like, that's a huge milestone huge for me milestone. that I'm really excited about. Cause so for the longest time I was just putting my own money into things. Yeah. And then it's like, eventually people start to recognize your mm. talent. And I think it's also about getting older and getting more experience and knowing what you're talking about and all that kind yeah. of stuff. Which mm. oh, I'm, absolutely. I'm sure you found that, you know, with age and experience and stuff that you, people sort of trust you to, to get the job done a little more. Yeah, mm. yeah, it's it's, I but I think regardless of age, it's a it's a humility aspect too. Yeah, like if you go in guns are blazing, like you kind of turn people off of yeah. wanting mm. to connect and collaborate. That's yeah. True. Um. So, uh, but the support system that I've been so fortunate to land with, I guess, um, I couldn't do my life without them. And it's not just like my mom, my mom's incredible, but then I've got beautiful cousins and my yeah. brother's been, my brother had a big turnaround moment. Um, <coughs> you know, we had a bit of a, an interesting conversation the other week and I, long story short, he was like, oh, my sister's an extra. And I was like, oh, I'm not an extra now. <laughs> like, yeah. I've worked really hard to become a stunt performer. Mm. And um, he was like, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. And I was like, I was dying of laughter, but like inside I was like, is this all I am <laughs> like, yeah. to him? But um, I would say like the he saw the Four Guy movie and he called mm. me and he was like, I did not realise what you do and the – risks that you guys take mm. wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. wow wow my parents are yeah. the same as well yeah like yeah i think it's just so important to to show that awareness to people mm. who don't understand you know yeah. filmmaking and the effort that goes into it and it's so an actual industry i think yeah. a lot of people just see things on tv mm. or at the movies and they don't they, they don't really understand the amount of work that goes into yeah. it no, they yeah. think it's just like this which in a way is kind of good because <coughs> i like that there's a there's this sense of magic about it when people watch it and they don't think about people creating it. Yeah, mm. yeah. But it's also n- nice. That yeah, you don't you know, see the boom assistant standing just nah, off shot yeah, holding exactly. the microphone. I mean, occasionally <laughs> <laughs> they make a mistake. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, no, I, I think at the same time, it's so good when people get recognition for mm. the hard work mm. that they're doing. Yeah. So. I yeah. think some of my proudest moments in this industry have not been the, you know, the, the premieres that we've had or the movies that I've made, mm. it's been me in my lounge room sitting with my best mate and him going, wow, that's, that's good dialogue. Wow. That's yeah. a, that's a great yeah. shot. You yeah. know, them finally realizing, you know, certain aspects of film, which they haven't before. And, yeah. mm. you know, hearing, Oh Josh, you've changed my perspective on the film. Blah, blah, blah. And one of my main goals is to, you know, get more people to sit through the credits and really just, yes. you know, just appreciate it. Yeah. yeah, and Absolutely. I think uh, stay pop- until the entire yeah, film is rolled. Exactly, yeah. seeing how many people go into it, um, and then part of that, you know, that that goal I kind of put into play with my last film, where mm. I did a behind the scenes documentary of the making of it, and I played that after I played the film that yeah. I that I previously made. And that made. kind of thing makes everyone appreciate. Yes, it I so got much so many more, messages hey. going, oh. "Wow, that's." Um, it was more messages actually about the BTS and how appreciative <laughs> they are about oh how, how much things go into cool. it. Yeah. And that means more to me than the actual film itself. Aww. So, um, yeah, that's a, well that's done. amazing. And I think before we segue into your acting, I want to ask oh, you yeah. one more question. Yeah. Um, what advice will you give to the next generation of four guys and four girls? Do it. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Do it. Just Brilliant. do anything you possibly can. 
mm. um, that keeps you safe, but you go after those dreams because they will happen. Mm. And they might not necessarily look how you think that they're going to look, mm-hmm. but they're going to be better. They're going to pay off and like, just do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Love it. I, I know it's not very philosophical, but no. like, just do it. Honestly, I'm, I think the younger generation um, that are coming up or people are starting to get a little bit stuck on sitting and just watching social media go by each yeah. day and every yeah. day becomes a little bit like Groundhog Day. And I mm-hmm. think, yeah. you know, if you get up and you do, you know, something towards your dream every day, even if it's for an hour. Um, or three times a day. Or three times a day. <laughs> you just keep doing it and something will happen. Brilliant. Yeah, Love and you that. have to be flexible. You've got to be a little bit flexible and, yeah. And, and, and yeah. <laughs> mm, ready to okay. adapt as well. Yeah. Cool. Do you want to segue into this? Yeah, sure. Because I, I wanted to talk a bit about your acting because obviously mm-hmm. that's as important to you as the stunts. Yeah. yeah. I mean, would you say you sort of have a priority in terms of those mm. two? Or I've definitely equal? prioritized stunts the last few years yeah. because um, like I needed to get gradings yeah. and I just needed to work. and yeah. um, But I have equal adoration for both. Um, I don't yeah. favor either of them. Like, I mean, I have so much respect for stunts because, like, it's brought me so much goodness and, like, it's crossed paths with so many wonderful people and opportunities. Um, and same with the acting, but, like, the stunts has been what's gotten me into the industry. Mm. Um, mm-hmm. So. Yeah, nice. So yeah. with your acting, have you found that you get typecast as a certain type of character or not really? My friend had me in their um, stunt – not yeah, they're, like, kind of, like, their – stunt real and i play the damsel in distress i quite yep. often get the damsel in distress which okay. i don't mind there's yeah. nothing wrong mm-hmm. with that you know um, what i reckon you could rock yeah because uh, i've seen this in some of your Here tapes and stuff like the mean girl like <laughs> the bitch the, the, like the bitchy high school girl because i've seen you do that and, and it's <laughs> the thing i love because i saw your show recently oh, you could rock the bitchy high school no, 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 girl no, no. i take it as a compliment <laughs> no it's a huge compliment because you're so i saw your show recently and it's mm-hmm. you're so transformative in it because oh, you're you. such a lovely genuine person mm. but then when i see you perform like you just switch into someone else and i mm. think that's a hallmark of a good actor oh really. wow that's very and kind of you to yeah say. for sure and no you've just I'm gonna got get a big head careful <laughs> 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 no, but, but Josh knows that I don't say things like this lightly. No, like he I, doesn't. Yeah, not at all. <laughs> Dan, I give you. people compliments that I mean. That's so. why when I first rocked up today, so I sent him the first draft of my my most recent script, and um, he's very harsh, which is mm. great because you need people like that that don't <laughs> yeah. sugarcoat it for you. Because yeah. you get so many, too many people gassing you up these days, mm. especially when you're trying to get into the industry. You appreciate people with, like him a bit more. And I mm. sent him, I think I'm on like draft ten, which is the shooting script now, and he read it last night, and um. All he needed to say was, wow, Josh, it's, it's, I love it. And that's, that's all I needed, man. It was great. And, uh, really, really good. And I understand like why you've made every choice that you have now. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. You were saying it feels like the right length now. Yes. Like it, 33 pages. And mm. I feel like that is perfect for that story. Mm. So it all, it Thank all makes sense to me now. That's yeah. Exciting. And just the way you write is beautiful, man. Thank you. Really, really nice. How much of that is, is it like an equal split between you and Taha? Is it more you? No, nah, I wrote it all. And then oh. Taha would tell me if you liked it or not and give me bits and pieces of feedback not necessarily with the writing but maybe with how he's very good grammatically um and how things are laid out but we came up with the whole story between us but then i'll write it and then go back to him for advice and stuff so anyways back to tabby (laughs) (laughs) i was just loving this like little brotherhood yeah yeah, yeah, going on i thought that was so adorable (laughs) (laughs) it doesn't happen often normally (laughs) oh man we're usually going back and forth about (laughs) messages and stuff but um nah man you gotta appreciate those moments yeah yeah 100 percent. like we um yeah we like, man, we're so lucky with the circle that we have and, um, you know, we surround ourselves with like-minded people and that's why mm. we started this podcast, you know. Mm. Like, we started this podcast because we're going through, you know, we're talking about COVID, putting dents in the industry. Mm. Um, he came on a bit later, but me and my other mate, Austin, started this podcast. My neighbour, um, yes. <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> yes, Austin. Uh, but we started this because we were, you know, down in motivation and inspiration, mm. surrounding yourself with like-minded people who mm-hmm. are equally as passionate. Yeah. Um, yeah, we don't take it for granted and, uh, you know, we support each other through everything and, um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see What do they work. say? You're pretty much a product of who you the surround people, yourself. The f- closest the five closest people. The closest five people you are Something around. like that, yeah. yeah. And it's so true. They're, oh, 100% it's so is. True. It, it, 100% is, you know, creatively, personally, everything like that. Mm. Um, I think I want to 
what are your aspirations? Not only for you know stunts, but also Tracy being an actor. Wife, yeah. No. <laughs> 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 I mean, kind of. But, um. uh, let's put an Instagram. <laughs> 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 Tabby don't, don't never slide oh. in my DMs, slide young man. Oh. <laughs> no, um, I think the trajectory for me is is very much like if like <coughs> Lara Croft met John Wick. Ooh, yes. kind of cool. Yeah, I also really right love on. like Wonder Woman and yeah, would do that. Um, it's a shame Austin's yeah, not here because yeah, he loves dude, Austin, action movies. Yeah, <laughs> he should be coming back yeah. sometime soon. You, you've met Austin, right? Oh, yeah. Well, they live. Yeah, okay. like well, our puppies met, met and then we oh, met. Oh, yeah, really Lenny. Yeah. Oh, I still haven't met Lenny. What? Oh. Yeah, Lenny's bro, I know. I know, yeah. I know, I know, I know. He's, he's, he's the MVP. He's, he's <laughs> Instagram yeah. famous as well. Yeah, he is. You should start a page for Chanel. Oh, my gosh. So what what breed is Chanel? <laughs> She's a short haired cavoodle. Right. So she looks more like a cavalier. Nice. But then sometimes I look at her and I'm like, how are you real? You're so cute. <laughs> like she doesn't look like a mop or anything. Like yeah, she's, yeah, yeah, she's yeah. very cute. refined. She's very classy. And she's very sassy. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Good stuff. Do you have any more questions before we go into Love the it. last week? Um, just trying to think of any more acting questions. Mm. Um. Do you have what? Do you have any aspirations in terms of acting? Like, what what are your goals in terms of acting? I guess I would love to be a lead actress in feature films mm. that does her own stunts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, yeah. I would. Mm. I would also do like any other role that you know doesn't need mm -hmm. necessarily a stunt because like I love storytelling. Um, so, I guess my uh, this year is kind <coughs> of being a bit more. Uh, a bit more serious about the acting yeah. and a bit more like just like putting everything I possibly can into it um, mm. alongside cultivating and maintaining the stunts. Of course. Did you study acting or? No. Oh, okay. So you just went straight into it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes okay. that's the best way to go about yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> you, but do you know like all the different acting techniques and stuff? Did you like self-teach or people um, figured it out and said? Or I how? kind of figured I took pieces and bits and bobs um, from teachers and um, – yeah, I've just – I don't necessarily say I have, like, one specific technique. Like, I probably don't do the, like, technique um, – is it the <coughs> method acting where yeah. you're, like, that person for the entire time oh, you're yes. filming? Yeah, like, me no, I think that's not really how I would roll, I don't think. I think yeah. I'd probably lose myself so quickly and I'd really struggle. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I, I don't know. We'll just take, take it each day as it comes yeah, and see course. how I can – I try and read the script, like, without – any tone to it yeah um and then build on that and then see what the chemistry with the other reader or the totally. other actors like and yeah nice and then obviously like figure out the context and do yeah. the re i'd always do the research behind like yeah any script or if i need to create substance like write a little backstory but amazing yeah i think going forward as well you had that stunt background so that automatically gives you an extra edge over people that's why i started forward. like yeah. hopefully hopefully because like <laughs> just me on my own oh, me with stunts like pretty cool <laughs> <laughs> oh man well i can't wait to see what you do so oh, thank we'll, you. we'll definitely get you back on as well oh thank so you i want to direct you in something <laughs> soon, soon <laughs> well we have to do that thing with amy as soon as she's not so busy yeah yeah. yeah he perfect. was such a legend he came all the way to the northern beaches and helped me with an audition the other day really? yes. I had to that audition to be an, a 30 year old mom type thing <laughs> and um, it was really fun that was really fun it was yeah. funny and I couldn't have done it without him I was so so glad how, he was there how did you find my directing so helpful <laughs> it was so good I didn't have to do any like words or anything but yeah. like we had to do like lots of facial expressions I was yeah. just yelling out commands <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> look over there there's a bunch of kids <laughs> naked man in shower oh my yeah. gosh <laughs> I'm like, no, you look too happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh, that's great. Dan, you're a great director, mate. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right, let's get on to the last seg. All right, Indy. All right, go us. What words. are we doing for the last seg today? Um, Guess the film from the tagline. Okay, Ooh, cool. Okay. Um, And if you want a hint, I can give you the release year. Ooh, okay. Okay, and our buzzers are our names. Oh, okay. Sure. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, Good. Hang on, I'll grab my book. Alrighty, let's do this. <laughs> now, I do record, man, I was just, what was it? Not last episode, but the one before, and I smashed you. Oh, you I did. You really you, did. I don't know how you I were so good at that game. I got every one right. That was insane. I'm <laughs> not that big of a that film buff. That was like, were you just lucky guessing? Or? Yes. I made me sound like the biggest film <laughs> buff ever. I am not a film buff, bro. All right, uh, let's do this. 
I think I'm going to get exposed right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, we run a film podcast and I know yeah. nothing about it. So, all right, let's do this. There are seven. There are 3.7 billion fish in the sea. They're looking for one. Josh, Nemo. Yep. Finding Nemo. Uh, I was going to say a dating app, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> in right. space, no one can hear you scream. Daniel. Oh, what is that? <laughs> I just said it because I... Um, is it alien? Yes. Yeah. A long right. time ago in a galaxy Josh. that far away. Oh, fuck, which one? <laughs> Who got that? Wait, Just give us the release year. 1977. Josh, number one. Uh, New Hope, number four. <laughs> number one, you know what I mean. We'll take number one. Yeah. I appreciate that answer. Star Wars. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah I'm like, is <laughs> <laughs> Shrek, that one. <laughs> oh, bless Shrek. I love, <laughs> I love Shrek as well. Do you know, sorry, side note, no. they have an Airbnb. For I sh- saw for that. Shrek's um, oh swamp. Swamp? Yes. I saw that. Where I saw somebody. This? It's in Scotland. Scotland. <laughs> Scotland. Shrek. Scotland. Of course it's in Scotland. Yeah, I watched somebody go and stay in it. The whole, there's no ground. It's just bark <laughs> everywhere. I'm like, well, gosh, wake out of bed. You're not, oh. you know. It's just, anyways. Yeah, <laughs> One man struggled to take it easy. Dan. Oh. Homer Simpson. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. The Big Lebowski? No. Okay. So I'll take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. <laughs> Take it easy. Oh, man. Do you no. want a hint? Yeah. Yeah. Um, it was released in 1987. I mean, 1986. Mm. Take it easy, huh? What was it again? One man struggled to take it easy. <laughs> One man struggled to take it easy. One man. One, One man <laughs> struggled <laughs> to take it One easy. One man struggled to take it easy. <coughs> I feel like I'm going to pinch myself when you tell us what it is. Oh, yeah. Kick g- myself. Yeah, g- give us a clue. I Another gave one. you a clue. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was, that was a very right. vague clue, though. <laughs> I gave you a clue. Whoa. I don't know. The other clue, it's a movie. <laughs> <laughs> no, you that came out in no, no, Josh, the Terminator. No. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Are we on that like trajectory of like male lead? <laughs> It is male led. Oh, yeah. It <laughs> does yeah. not narrow it down. <laughs> <laughs> does it have Tom Cruise in it? No. No. Okay, never mind. Mm, one man struggled Should to take just... it easy. Liam Neeson? No. Oh. Al Pacino? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> take it easy. I'm guessing it's from like, New York no. based. Oh. Uh, mm. Take it easy. Ghostbusters? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I don't know. <laughs> I right, don't should we just give it up? Mm. I think we should give it up. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Ferris we'll we'll Bueller's Day Off. Oh! oh. oh. I is guess. he a man? So is he taking it easy? Himself. He literally does everything. That's literally the tagline. What do you oh, mean? Okay. I love all right, all right. Okay. Next. Bueller. What's the score? Bueller. Um, anyone? Two Bueller. Josh, one Dan. <laughs> mm-hmm. Zero to Tabby. Zero to Tabby. How should we? An epic of epic epicness. Fuck off. The what? epic movie? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. The epic of epic of epicness. Huh? Fuck. Um, well, <sighs> give us the year. 2010. Oh, mate, what? Epic I feel like it's like a parody movie. Dan, epic wait, what did you say? I said the epic movie. I was going to say that. Um, no. Is that a movie? Is yeah. that a movie? Yeah. I think so, yeah. I miss all those like yeah, parody movies. Parodies. That was like Bring superhero movies. Like, the, like <laughs> the Hungry Games. <laughs> Space yeah. I never it's saw that hungover Space games. Balls, yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry, <laughs> the Hungover Games. <laughs> oh, yeah, my bad. Um, oh, God. Epic of epic of epicness. Mm. Josh, Transformers? No. Uh, fuck. <laughs> what? <a joke. laughs> that was a good try. That Come was on. a good try. <clears throat> I was talking to Indy last night about how good the first Transformers Oh, bro, how good the CGI was, holds the up. The music, hey. the CGI. Oh, brilliant. Um, the last monologue, crazy. Uh, sorry, Sidetrack. Green Day? Was that who did the music as well? Sidetracked again. Um, All right, what are we... It, no, 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 wait. Lincoln Park. It Lincoln, Lincoln Park. Park. Sorry, yeah. not <laughs> Green Day. Whoa, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, my God. You triggered it. Anyways, next, yeah. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. Yep. What is it? Scott Pilgrim. Oh. I've never heard of that. There's a weird what? tagline for that movie. I haven't heard of that movie. <coughs> what? It's the best. you got to watch it. Okay, I better watch yeah, it's it. It's all right. See our family and feel better about yours. <laughs> the fuck? Is See it our... Meet the Fockers? No. Uh. It's an animated Josh, film. the Croods. Oh. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so come on, that's a good guess. <laughs> See uh, our family yeah, feel uh, better about yours. That's why it's funny because it's so specific. Do you know? All right, ta- Tabby, it's <laughs> up to you. Yeah. That's up to me. Yeah, if yeah. we guess, then you yeah, guess. Like yeah, we get one guess each. To feel better about yours. Is it like, okay. what What year was it? 2007. 2007. Spike it? No, 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 no. no. Oh my gosh. Uh, Is that a guess? Animated? Animated. Oh. Animated, animated, animated. 
I don't know. Josh, happy feet. No. Oh, man, come <laughs> on. Over the head, no. Mad Max. No. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that the other day. Oh, yeah. Pretty much. Oh, the first one. Do you like it? No. Oh. Um, Actually? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Um, Is the characters like <coughs> humans or are they humans. like they're humans for you? Hmm. Seen our family. Feel better about yours. Disney or Pixar? Or, or something Disney else. They're Pixar. now owned by Disney. Okay. Oh. Is that Pixar? Yeah, I guess so. Say our family. Humans. Is it too hard? Kardashians? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I mad respect for Kardashians. <laughs> that was great. That okay, was great. All right, give up. Who is it? It's a Simpsons movie. Oh, oh I you was going to say it. it. I was going to say it, and then I was like, nah, nah, nah. All right. Oh. Next one. That's good. Dang. Fear can hold you prisoner. Hope can set you free. Oh, these are so vague. Like, that's what a tagline is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, get told. Fear can hold bitch. you prisoner. Hope can set you free. What year was it? 1994. Oh, oh fear can Live action? You. Yes. Kay. Fear can hold you prisoner, but hope. The Shawshank Redemption. Yes. Oh, Because hey! prisoner, like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, nice. Um, Cool. <laughs> two, two, zero, right? Yep. Don't oh. Come on, Tammy. Yeah. Come on. Oh <laughs> I'm just letting you guys win. This <laughs> <thing>. <laughs> An adventure 65 million years in the making. Dan. Yeah. Jurassic Park. Yes. Yeah. Way so good. Nice, Dan. Nice. Same make, same model, new mission. Josh. You go. No, no, no. You say Johnny. Cars. No. Oh God. <laughs> no, <I'm there. laughs> Is that a Mission Impossible? No. <sighs> That's a good guess, but. Fuck, I don't know. Wait, does that count as Tabby's guess? Yeah, yeah you'll yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Um, same make, same model, new mission. Same model, new mission. Wait, what year? 1991. Okay. <coughs> uh, if it helps, it's a sequel. Yeah. In 1991? I don't know, Tabby? Robocop? What did you say? No, Robocop? No. no. Why'd you look at Tabby? Ter- is, is it the Terminator? Yeah, it's Terminator. Yeah. Oh, two. okay. Terminator 2, yep. Wow, we'll give you that. We'll we'll give it to you. <laughs> that makes sense. How oh, do I get sense. one point? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Three, two, one. All right. Brilliant. All right. Chucky gets lucky. <laughs> Tabby? Chucky? <laughs> <laughs> is it? Which one? Or which one? Oh, which one? I don't know the Chucky ones. I've never seen them. <laughs> just it's the Chucky because lol. Dude, just... <laughs> What, what Chucky? Just have a wild guess. I don't even know how many. Chucky two? No. Chucky one. Chucky two. No. Chucky three. How many Chuckies? Fuck, how many Chucky? Like Chucky four. seven. There is eight, I think. Eight. Oh, Yo, that's a lot of Chucky. Eight Chuckies. <laughs> Jesus wow. Christ. Okay. I'm really, have you seen Chucky? Nah. I haven't I've seen s- a single one. I've seen Chucky where Lu- uh, They're Mark Hamill. called Child's Play. Mark, yeah, I've seen oh, yeah. that one. I've seen Child's Play. the most Play. recent one. one. Oh, that's no. the first uh, I've one. seen the one is where Mark Hamill voices him. Uh, yeah, it's pretty mm. good. There's mm. actually the original and then the remake. The remake's decent. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, did any of us get it? No. No. I'm All gonna right. give half a point to Tabby. Okay. Yes. All right. Well, well, how are one we and a half. Look one out, half. guys! I'm coming for <coughs> you. <laughs> you are. How are we going for points? Where are we at? Three, two, one and a half. Yep. Okay. Sick. Nice. All right. You'll never go in the water again. Josh Jaws. Yes. Nice. Yeah. All right. Should we do one more? You want to do a few more? We'll do a couple more. We'll do three more. Okay. You've got eight left. Yeah, fuck <laughs> it. <laughs> we'll, we'll just work our way through them. Yeah. Man is the warmest place to hide. What man? Man is the warmest place to Human hide. Human centipede? No. no. Oh. <laughs> yes. No. You guess. Hey, you're not wrong. Tell man me what. Man is the warmest place to hide. I mean, she's on the right track. Oh, no. I was just warming it up for you guys to get that point. <laughs> Oh, what's another um, whack movie? What, what year? Nineteen something. Nineteen eighty-two. What's the one with uh? No, no, no. What? <laughs> never mind. Never mind. Uh, <coughs> was that one with Hopkins? Oh, um, Silence Hopkins? of the Lambs. <coughs> Silence of the Lambs. No. Okay. Well, fuck. Never mind then. <laughs> horror is not really my genre. Is it horror? Mm, yeah, I yeah, should yeah. know. Um, mm. Yeah, Dan, you should know. <laughs> Lord of the Flies. No. <laughs> That's not even... I don't even know what that is. Man. It's a good book. <laughs> is there a movie on that or no? There is a book. I mean, mm. there is a movie, but it was made in like the 50s. Mm. Right, okay. Which is... Okay, I only saw half of it. 
Alright, I give up. What is it? The thing. Oh, okay. I haven't seen that yet. Really? Yeah. I know. <laughs> Disappointing. I, it's on my list. Why so serious? Oh, Dan. <laughs> Dark Knight. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you believe a man can fly? <laughs> that silence was loud. <laughs> you believe a Damn. man can fly? Yeah. Is it superhero movie? No. You know that scene where when Tom Cruise is like, "I can fly," and then it's like Tom Cruise has been found dead. <laughs> yes. um, I don't know. I, I believe guessed. I can fly. Yeah, no, nah, I'm done. Top Gun. No. <laughs> <coughs> is it an aviation type film? No. I was expecting you guys to get this like right away. Oh, um, well, can, I can't guess. Or can yes, I? you can. You can have my guess. Is it Superman? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, of course. The way you whispered that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll do one more. We'll do one more. You're just sad because <coughs> you're losing. <laughs> Fuck, all right. Sure. <laughs> He's throwing cake. Yeah, what the hell? All right, let's go. You don't get 500 million friends without making a few Dan. enemies. Yeah. Uh, social network. Yes. Oh, Fantastic. Nice job. All righty. What's the final score? Dan, six. Woo. Wow. Tabby, Take one that. and a half. Brilliant. Thank Josh, three. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. All righty. Well, Sweet. I think we're going to wrap it up Let's bow in this episode. Thank you so much, Tabby. <laughs> thank you guys for having me. Thanks amazing, for amazing to everyone for here. listening. No worries. We'll get you back on for oh, sure. thank you guys. No, sh- and congratulations again. <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, the guy. Go see the full guy. Go see full guy. Exactly. <laughs> uh, if you want to catch us, the pre-production meeting on YouTube, Spotify, wherever you get podcasts, the pre-production on Instagram and TikTok, and we'll see you next week. Thanks, guys. Peace. Bye.